I left two tents on the other side of the Mississippi. I had to work all night. There you go. Thank you. How about right there? Much bigger carburetors than they actually needed. Nice wheelie. I was able to find three tents the next morning. Yeah, it's up there. All right, here we are, 2022 U.S. Nationals, stock eliminator. You know, stock eliminator didn't used to allow trucks in, uh, in, in competition. I know that for a fact because my father had a uh, 66 Ford Ranchero back when he was in high school, and they wouldn't let him run stock. But nowadays, they changed that rule, and Paul Wong's taking full advantage of it. Let's talk to Paul. Paul, what's going on, buddy? Hi, how are you? So, Paul, uh, 1986? 86, C10 pickup truck. What, what kind of engine comes 350. in? 350. Really low compression. Um, we built this truck in 2012 in 60 days. Kind of a crazy thing. Number one qualified at Indy in 2012. Um, been number one qualifier multiple places. Lots of class wins, um, national performer awards, things of that nature. Uh, now you're running end stock automatic. End stock with automatic here. on a 13 flat index. And what's your minimum weight in end with this? Uh, 3590. So what's the, uh, that's pretty heavy. What's the advertised and NHRA rated uh, It was 165, now rated 236. It's taken a couple of Taken hits. a couple of hits since you qualified, uh, I guess, number one at Indy yeah, those yeah. years ago. Get, now, the guy in Minnesota's hit it a couple times now in a row. At Indy, you, you uh, used to get hit with the horsepower slash weight penalty for Correct. going too fast. However, uh, at this particular event now, they took that rule away, so you can go as fast as you want here, and that Correct. makes for some exciting racing. Yeah, so in 2012, I had to take 8% to be number one. Then, and after that, it changed. You know, like 2018, I came here and went 201 under with the El Camino, and at that point, yeah, that was, it was a freebie. So, um, there's pluses and minuses to being a freebie. I know a lot of people want to see this equalize the horsepower, because this is where people show their wares, but I don't think NHRA has any way to get people to show their wares without removing the AHF, AHFS. I mean, you're not gonna see B cars go 990s and be penalized and ruined in one swipe of a pen. Uh, so people get to see what the cars can run. Uh, NHRA's gotta chase it from there. Yeah, it's, it's just, there's no right answer. We're trying to figure out what, what's the best, most efficient way to uh, kind of equalize all the cars, but you know, all, uh, all opinions, uh, we'll take them into consideration. Maybe we can pitch it to NHRA. What kind of carburetor comes on this? Uh, 800 uh, Rochester Quadrajet. Pretty big, pretty big fella there. Yeah, probably too big, but it's what the GM in the 80s put on trucks, Oldsmobiles, Pontiacs, Let's vehicles of that nature. They put much bigger carburetors than they actually needed. It's impressive. Let's, put it, let's take a look inside. It's pretty basic. Tried to lighten up everything I can, but uh, other than that, to make a pickup truck work, you've got to get the weight off the nose. Yeah, that's tough. Do you have a weight box in yes. the uh, trunk there? What kind of transmission and torque converter? Uh, it's got a Scott McClay metric 200 and an ATI torque converter. What size torque converter would be in one of these? An 8-inch? Eight 8-inch. Eight okay. Still got the clutch pedals because I probably will put a stick back in it here sooner or later. Oh, that sounds fun. What's the 8-inch what's the, uh, stalling up to? Uh, about 5,500. And then what kind of RPM are you shifting and going through? Uh, shifted at 65, 6,600, go through a little over 7,000. All right, buzzing it somewhat, somewhat Yeah, hard. well now you, as it's taken 70 some horsepower, you know, you have to stand on it <laughs> more to make it go. How have you been qualifying this weekend? Uh, pretty good, I just went 114 under this morning. Wow. So I'm up in the top of the middle. What kind of mile an hour do you run? 108. 108 mile an hour yeah. going 11, 1185. Uh, not bad. So this thing's really front half in, and it does launch very nicely. It pulls the wheels yeah. up pretty high. So yeah. what's the 60 foot times on this? 150. 5 one, here. 150. That's, here, that's pretty yeah. good for such a heavy vehicle here. Yeah. It's, 350 is making some power, huh? Well, the, then the transmission, the torque converter, the rear end all work together very well. What kind of rear are you running? Uh, it's a complete 12 volt motor. And then in stock eliminator, we have to run a 30 by 9 inch tire. Are you running the 30 or are you running something a little a shorter? 30. It, it, it's, being a pickup truck, it's front heavy. It's got to have all the tire you can get on it. You can't. And, it, and at this point, it's starting to leave like a real stalker. So it's it needs everything it can to get it to leave because it's you're asking a lot of a pickup truck. That's for sure. Oh, I bet. With over 117 inch wheelbase. Are we allowed to look in the trunk here? Yeah, it's just 
a little bit of a mess, but it's a uh, traditional stuff, weight box and fuel cell and fuel pump. Now, do you move classes at all using the weight I box? I do move classes. I have weight bars. I can basically 37.25. Thank you. Add or subtract 400 pounds for this thing. But I've got to bolt in the weight and weld the nuts and things like that. But I have weight bars that weigh over 100 pounds a piece. That's pretty cool. All right. And then the uh, rear, you said it's a 12 bolt. 12 bolt, complete motor. I ordered it from motor end to end. Okay. Turning 7,000 RPM. Uh, what kind of gear ratio is in there? 513. It needs more. Um, probably needs a 538 here, really. Now the problem that a lot of racers have is the air here at Indy isn't so great, so they'll they will step up the rear gear ratio. But then yeah. once the fall hits, especially in the East Coast, turn we go up the timing or whatever air. else. You go after the cam timing, the ignition timing, everything else. Got to burn water. That's right. You and know then, that's and the famous. You get into that good air later. And what then they you told me over two decades ago that I would leave two tenths on the other side of the Mississippi. My first pass over 20 years ago here. I left two tenths on the other side of the Mississippi. I had to work all night, and I was able to find three tenths the next morning. But it was, it was kind of stressful. Trading two for three. I mean, that's. A deal we worked really hard. Take. We stepped it up the next morning. I was able to qualify in the top ten the next morning. All right. Well, in stock uh, automatic. How many cars are there? Uh, now there's only three. So I have the final later this afternoon sometime. All right. You know who you have to race? Uh, Anto is a really, really uh, cool '69 Camaro convertible. A lot of history. Uh, just, just met her today. Um, great story behind the car. It's Absolutely. kind of a very interesting. Um, somebody you probably need to talk to because it's uh, the story we, behind it is just. We incredible. did check our YouTube page. She's the last interview we did uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, she, incredible story behind that car, and for her to come back and the car is super competitive. It is. And so a, I'm gonna have a, to give everything I've got for that thing. Nice car, fast car. She's a nice uh, yes. woman, and you're a nice guy. It'll be a, it'll be a hell of a run. It, and two interesting things: final. a Camaro convertible and a pickup truck. All right. You well, know, the only thing, same thing they got is cubic inches of the motor. After that, it's there's no likeness. She's got two barrel carb. You got four barrel carb. Yeah, she's got compression, and I've got none. <laughs> so switch the carbs. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, she'd pick up a ton if I could get her pistons and her cylinder head. <laughs> All right. Well, Paul, it sounds like it's going to be a fun race. Yep. We wish you cool. luck, and uh, wish you luck in the Eliminator this weekend. Also. Thanks, Bobby.